Roman statue from the first century that had been stolen from an archaeological site back in 2011. That's right, someone thought it would be a good idea to steal ancient art and smuggle it out of the country. Where did they find this mysterious statue? It was in an antique shop in Belgium. Apparently, an Italian businessman had received the statue and then exported it to Belgium for some strange reason. The statue itself is of a headless Roman wearing a toga, with a monetary worth of over $100,000. It was initially stolen from the Villa Marini di Tina archaeological site near Rome. Why did he do it? It's not 100% clear right now. Why do you think he did it? But what's truly surprising is that the only reason the statue was discovered at all is because the two off-duty officers simply went for a walk in a local neighborhood and saw the marble statue inside an antique shop. They hadn't even been looking for it. The authorities aren't yet sure what will happen to the person who stole it and sold it to the antique shop, but hopefully the impressive piece of history will be going back where it belongs soon. Number 9. Lava Horses one of the most surprising archaeological discoveries having to do with horses was just made in Pompeii, the Italian city forever trapped in time because of the disastrous eruption of Mount Vesuvius back in 79 AD. Like everyone else in Pompeii, this horse was covered in ash and petrified. That was the worst day imaginable if you were a resident of Pompeii, but at least it makes for a fascinating historical site today. The horse was discovered wearing a military saddle with bronze plating. The horse was also found alongside the remains of two other, less impressive stallions inside a stable attached to a suburban villa, kind of like how your garage is attached to your house. Imagine your prized car being buried under layers of ash. That's basically what happened to this family and their beautiful horses. Unfortunately for the animals, they probably perished immediately after the volcanic explosion. Judging by their rigid postures, they have been unable to break through the stables and probably died where they stood. What's really cool about the horse is just how wonderfully preserved it has remained for the past 2,000 years. You can still see its face, its hooves, and its round horse belly. Researchers have suggested that the horse was probably a valuable breed and may have been used to display social status. Number 8. A Billion Rubles not long ago, Russian explorers discovered roughly a billion rubles in old Soviet currency abandoned in an old, closed-down mine. And while you may be thinking a billion rubles is a lot of money, it's actually completely worthless. That's right, no one will take it. You can show up to the bank and try to cash it in, but they'll look at you funny and probably call the police while they're at it. A group of explorers were checking out a rumor they had heard that after the Soviet Union collapsed, Huge quantities of cash had been dumped into old missile silos not far from Moscow. According to the BBC, these explorers chased the rumors into the Vladimir region of Russia, where they found the mine just like promised, and all the cash. At current exchange rates, the billion rubles would be worth about 18 million USD right now. But of course, they are no longer legal tender. The cash was used between 1961 and 1991 before being discontinued. Now it's pretty much only useful as a collectible curiosity. The Russian Federation still uses the Russian ruble, but it's not the same as the money used during the Soviet Union throughout different states. Because the mine where the money was found had been flooded in the past couple of years, the explorers found what they described as a swamp of banknotes, all of them bearing the face of Mr. Vladimir Lenin. Kinda creepy, don't you think? Number 7. Neanderthal Glue a new discovery has surprised the world by providing evidence that Neanderthals may have been a bit smarter than we thought. Traces of ancient glue-like compound have been found on a stone tool that dates back 50,000 years. The glue was crafted from birch tar through a process that would have required significant pre-planning, something experts weren't sure Neanderthals were capable of. What was the adhesive used for? It was used to build more reliable tools. Think about joining the rock head of an axe to the wooden shaft. This could be done with enough brute force, sure, but 50,000 years ago, a very smart cave person figured out how to make it a bit easier by creating the world's first adhesive. Hey, it was a long way to go from there to glue, but it was a start, and a pretty impressive one considering what the cavemen had to work with. The tools discovered on Zunmotor Beach on the coast of the Netherlands. 
It was discovered near another recent discovery, a Neanderthal skull fragment pulled out of the sand. The Neanderthals are an extinct cousin of early Homo sapiens, our ancestors, and they populated this area for tens of thousands of years since our ancestors began moving out of Africa. Unfortunately for them, they went extinct about 40,000 years ago. Number 6. Escape from Mars Our next surprising discovery comes from Mars, which is a place full of strange, wonderful things that give our scientists clues about the rest of the solar system and the universe. New research done by scientists at the University of Arizona have given some insight as to what happened to the water that once covered the Martian surface. As you may already know, billions of years ago, there was water on Mars, very similar to how there is water on Earth today. But something happened that made it vanish. For a long time, scientists have purported that the water is trapped inside of the planet, locked inside of the rocks. The new evidence suggests that the water has actually been escaping through the Martian atmosphere for billions of years. This evidence comes from a surprisingly large amount of water being discovered in Mars' upper atmosphere. It seems that water is evaporated from the surface, stuck in the upper atmosphere of Mars, then rapidly destroyed. Scientists have no idea what's going on here, but it looks like some kind of volatile event destroyed much of the atmosphere around Mars, which at one point had been as strong as Earth's. And the result may have been that the water literally escaped Mars by evaporating out into space. Would you ever go on a spaceship to Mars to colonize the red planet? Why or why not? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below, then remember to subscribe to Taltanic for more awesome videos just like this one. Number 5. Hippo Axe Back on Earth, an axe made from the bone of a hippo has been found in Ethiopia. Even more surprising is that the axe has been dated at 1.4 million years old. Scientists believe the hippo axe was created by our ancient ancestors, Homo erectus. The tool was found at the Konso archaeological site in the south of Ethiopia and is one of only two bone axes known to scientists that were crafted beyond 1 million years ago. The axe had a honed edge that had been made by carefully sharpening the chuck of bone to make it more deadly. According to paleontologist Gen Suwa, the tool was fashioned from the thigh bone of a hippopotamus. This is the newest evidence that ancient hominems were actually pretty skilled at crafting things out of rock and bone. Of course, hominems one million years ago weren't that far from glorified monkeys. These were our first ancestors and the first animals to appear with human-like proportions. Arising in the country of Georgia 1.85 million years before today, and living as far as Indonesia until 117,000 years ago. Number 4. Plane in the Jungle The Swamp Ghost is one of the coolest and most surprising artifacts ever rediscovered after World War II. The Swamp Ghost is the nickname for a Boeing B-17E bomber that was discovered crashed in Papua New Guinea back in 1972. So far as the official history reports go, the plane was damaged by enemy fire, it lost fuel, and went down on February 23, 1942. It was brutally attacked while trying to complete a raid on Japanese forces. The pilot and the crew of nine did survive the crash, though they suffered an ordeal that went on for six weeks trying to escape the wild swamps of Papua New Guinea where they crashed. They did eventually make it to safety, but the destroyed plane was forgotten. When the plane was found, 30 years later by an Australian Air Force crew, they were surprised to discover coffee still inside the thermoses of the cockpit. These poor soldiers had brewed themselves up a drink and were ready to relax when they got shot down. Number 3. The Multiverse In the most surprising and shocking discovery of the century, Scientists may have discovered real, tangible evidence of the multiverse. If what the reports say are to be believed, scientists have discovered something known as the cold spot, and it could prove definitely that the universe we live in right now is simply one of countless other universes clustered together like soap bubbles forming out of a bathtub. Put on your lab coats because it's about to get scientific. The cold spot can be seen from the southern hemisphere in the constellation Eridanus. It's a chunk of space 0 0.00015 degrees colder than everything around it. That's right, it's a tiny bit colder than the surrounding space, which is colder than anything we could ever witness here on Earth. 
Deep space is incredibly cold, almost at absolute zero itself. Scientists first thought the cold spot was simply a super void, an area in space that has a lot fewer galaxies than usual. But in 2017, researchers at the United Kingdom's Durham University Center for Extragalactic Astronomy claimed that the cold spot is not a super void, but evidence of multiple alien universes. How does that make sense? According to Professor Tom Shanks, the cold spot may have actually been created because of a collision that happened between our physical universe and the bubble of another, unseen, alien universe. In other words, our universe may have somehow crashed against a different universe, very similar to our own, sometime in the last few billion years. The theory is that such a collision would have produced an imprint in the form of radiation, and this imprint may just be the cold spot. It just makes you feel small and insignificant to think about wild scientific theories like that. Don't you agree? Number 2. Google Maps Kidnapping One of the most surprising things ever discovered using Google Maps was an actual kidnapping. That's right, a kidnapping went down in broad daylight and was discovered by internet sleuths perusing through Google Maps Street View. The incident in question happened in Sweden, on a perfectly ordinary residential street while the sun shined down from the sky. The street view showed two men dressed in black with black masks, much like burglars. They were caught in the frame sneaking out of a building and holding between them a rolled up carpet that very well could have contained a human body, either dead or alive. The big kicker came from a viewer who noticed human feet poking out through the bottom of the carpet. At this point, there was really no doubt that they were carrying somebody inside that rug. But unfortunately, it came out later that what Google actually captured with their cameras was a film being made. Zooming out from the supposed bandits, you can clearly see professional film equipment. Across the street, people were filming the scene for a movie. That is, unless it was all just a cover for a real murder. Number 1. The Largest Cement Ship the largest concrete ship in the world was dismantled after spending 40 years sitting on the riverbank. After the ship's maiden voyage in 1974, it was almost immediately abandoned. Sounds like a ridiculous story, right? It's true. The ship is called the Guatian, and for the last 40 years, it has been a tourist attraction in China's Fujian province, and also home to some unsanitary squatters. But. What you might be wondering is why a ship was built entirely out of concrete. Doesn't really make much sense. How could you realistically make a ship out of something like concrete? You might as well use wood. But back in 1970, there was a lack of steel in China, and a cheap solution was to make a boat out of concrete. Of course, it ended up being way too costly to power a ship made of concrete. It was too heavy. So, the men in charge of the government back then ran the ship aground and then left it there until the late 2010s, when they finally decided to demolish it. Creepiest and most mysterious ever found. It started in the 19th century, when roughly a dozen skulls were found carved from clear white quartz known as rock crystal. The skulls began making their way into private collections around the world, being dubbed as the Crystal Skulls. But they have been the source of great controversy ever since they came into the circuit. According to the people who say they discovered the skulls, they date back to the ancient Mesoamerica, crafted from people like the Aztecs, Toltec, and Maya. What's even more interesting is that some people believe the Milky Crystal Skulls have supernatural powers within them. Some claim they have healing abilities, or are even able to make a person psychic. Some also claim the crystal skulls come from Atlantis, and that the Atlanteans gave them to the pre-Columbian civilizations. There are even those that believe these skulls are proof of extraterrestrials visiting the Aztecs. In 2008, the mystery gained even more fame when the movie, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, came out. But the truth is that scientists and archaeologists are skeptical as to whether the skulls are even real. 
None of them were found in documented excavation, according to History.com. Plus, the style and technique of the carved skulls does not match up with any of the pre-Columbian styles. Scientists at the British Museum in London, as well as the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History in Washington, have inspected crystal skulls and found traces of modern carving implements, suggesting they were either manufactured by people in the 1800s or by aliens in the past with future technology. Number 9. Alien-like Skull in Korea Archaeologists have unearthed an alien-like skull in Korea that looks an awful lot like it belongs to an extraterrestrial being. Of course, it's actually an ancient skull of a human, but the weird part is that archaeologists say it was not deliberately modified through any kind of known practice of cranial deformation. The skull was found at a site that once belonged to the ancient Silla culture of Korea. It was found inside of a woman's grave near Jeongju, the historical capital of the Silla kingdom that ruled much of the Korean peninsula from 57 BCE to 935 AD, just about a thousand years. The woman was in her late 70s when she died, with her body found inside of a traditional wooden coffin. Her skeleton was in pretty good condition, but her skull was in fragments that needed to be pieced together. Once fully assembled, scientists realized her head width was less than 75% of its length, making it look extremely bizarre and a lot like she was an alien. The earliest examples of cranial deformation extend approximately 10,000 years ago, all the way back to the Neolithic era. The practice has existed in many cultures all over the world, including in the Gaia Kingdom, which neighbored Jiangju in Korea. Yun Jin Wu, a physical anthropologist from Seoul National University, says that the skull was not manipulated using wooden boards or tightly wound fabric, which were both common practices used by ancient civilizations to make heads shaped this way. Nobody's sure how the woman's skull came to be so alien-like. Some suggest a type of medical condition while other experts have suggested that she could be partly extraterrestrial. This woman could have been some kind of strange hybrid between an alien and a person, but unfortunately there is no evidence one way or the other. Number 8. Pirate Playground A human skeleton has been found in a rather peculiar place. The skeleton of a man who was most likely a pirate in the 16th century has been found underneath the playground of a school in Edinburgh, Scotland. The skeleton was discovered by council workmen during the routine work, but imagine if it was a child who came across it. That would have not been good. It was later discovered that the school is located near a place called New Haven Harbor, which 600 years ago in the 16th century, the bodies of executed criminals were actually put on display. Archaeologists now believe the man was in his 50s and was probably executed for piracy, displayed on the gibbet or gallows, and then buried in an unmarked grave. The head teacher at the primary school where the skeleton was found said that the discovery was fantastic and that archaeologists will now be holding a special lesson for some of the children about how they use science to analyze ancient remains, maybe even inspiring some of the kids to grow up to be archaeologists. What would you do if you or your kid was the one to discover a buried skeleton at school? Do you think it would be cool or creepy? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Number 7. The Monster Skull The skull of a giant sea monster has recently been studied using CT scanning technology by researchers from the University of Manchester. Using the CT technology, researchers were able to digitally reconstruct the skull, at which point they determined the three foot dates back approximately 200 million years and is the largest of its kind to ever be discovered. The monster skull belonged to an ichthyosaur. This was a marine predator, a type of aquatic reptile similar to porpoises and a distant relative of lizards and snakes. They were able to swim quickly through the water, just like modern dolphins, and have been known to exceed 43 feet or 13 meters in length. Lead author of the study, Dr. Dean Lomax, said, The first time I saw this specimen, I was puzzled by its excellent preservation. He also noted that, Typically, species from the early Jurassic period have been found squished, damaging the original structure of the skull. Ichthyosaurs of this age are usually pancaked, meaning they are squished, so that the original structure of the skull is either not preserved or is distorted and damaged. So, to have a skull and portions of the skeleton of an ichthyosaur of this age is preserved in three dimensions 
and without any surrounding rock obscuring it, is something quite special. Just imagine a killer dolphin with flap-like appendages and sharp teeth the size of giant squid. It was a terrifying monster, and researchers were lucky to find one of its giant skulls. Number 6. The Antikythera Skeleton The Antikythera shipwreck is the most impressive and arguably the most mysterious shipwreck that has ever been found. It was the wreck in which archaeologists discovered what some have claimed to be the oldest computer known to humankind, referred to as the Antikythera Mechanism. But the excavations have been going on here for years, and many more interesting objects have been discovered than just the one piece of the mechanism. Recently, a skeleton was discovered in the remains of the ship, and researchers have dated it back 2100 years. Researchers are saying the skeleton could shed some much-needed light on the history of the ancient ship. Archaeologists are saying the ship could have been a massive cargo vessel carrying grain to be traded throughout the Aegean Sea. The human skeleton probably belonged to one of the sailors on the ship. Archaeologists found teeth, a jaw, the skull, arm bones, and leg bones, and a few other remains. They can't say yet if the person sailed and died aboard the ship for sure, but it is highly likely. What's really strange is that this has been the only skeleton found at the shipwreck since its original discovery in the 1900s. Bones are not usually found in shipwrecks because they are picked apart by sea creatures. The fact that the bones survived 2,000 years at the bottom of the sea is shocking. But as of now, we don't know exactly what that means. Number 5. Dragon Skull in Africa, the terrifying remains of what some have claimed is a real-life dragon have been discovered. Nobody is sure where this monstrous skull was found exactly, but it appears to have fangs made for killing and unusual tusks used for tearing apart its prey. It wasn't found with any bones from the skeleton other than the skull, with its black empty eye sockets and its fascinating likeness to a mythical dragon. However, not everyone is convinced that the skull belonged to a dragon. Some say it's nothing but the leftovers of a dead hippopotamus. The hippo is the third largest mammal on Earth. One might even call hippos pink water dragons. They are definitely the most dangerous animals in Africa, though they definitely don't breathe fire. Could this really just be a boring old hippo skull? Or is it in fact proof that dragons once roamed among us? Number 4. The Haunted House in Wisconsin, a group behind a local Halloween haunted house took things a little too far. Sure, haunted houses are supposed to be scary, but these guys took things to a whole new level of terrifying when they decided to put real human skeletons inside of their catacombs room. The two real human skeletons were hidden among fake skulls and plastic bones to scare Halloween enthusiasts. And to make things even more macabre, the skeletons were only added to the haunted house after the creators discovered them inside of caskets that they had in storage donated years ago. No one knew that there were human bones still inside of their 19th century coffins. The coffins had been hidden inside the haunted house storage until discovered during a recent remodel. But don't worry, these weren't the skeletons of murder victims. Instead, they were likely medical skeletons donated in the early 1900s. But still, is it even legal to use human remains as props for a haunted house? Number 3. The Earliest Homicide The oldest murder mystery is a 430,000-year-old skull. The fossilized skull was found deep inside of a Spanish cave, and it shows clear signs of homicide. The skull suffered two fractures inflicted by the same object. Nobody is really sure who murdered this ancient Neanderthal, or even what the murder weapon was, but according to NBC News, archaeologists are on the case. The skull comes from a funerary site inside what is known as the Pit of Bones. The skull predates Homo sapiens and proves that humans weren't the first to practice murder. There were 30 individuals found inside the Pit of Bones, though only one appeared to be brutally beaten to death. According to CT scans and the obvious evidence of blunt force trauma, researchers have hypothesized that the individual was probably killed either with a wooden spear, a stone spear tip, or even a rock hand axe. One researcher said that because there were two fractures and either of the wounds probably would have been lethal, the presence of both implies the intent to kill, making this the oldest cold case in the world. What do you think this person did to deserve such a brutal death? Number 2. The Female Warrior 
A fascinating skeleton has been discovered in South Kazakhstan. The skeleton appears to be of an ancient female warrior in shockingly good condition. The skeleton was found with a massive sword and a dagger, and archaeologists have been able to date the woman and her weaponry back to perhaps the 11th century BCE. She likely led a small group of nomads through an area of what is today modern Kazakhstan. But, considering how long ago this happened, nobody can really guess where the nomads were going or what exactly they were doing. They were probably just a nomadic clan wandering through the steppes, and this ancient warrior woman was their leader. She was also discovered with a small cache of arrows and some pots and bowls. These extra artifacts suggest she was not only important, but wealthy as well. The artifacts will soon be exhibited in the National Museum of Kazakhstan. Number 1. Mexican Alien Skulls in the Mexican state of Sonora back in 1999, residents were digging in an irrigation canal. This was when they found the original alien skulls of Mexico, what we know today as the first evidence of deformed human skulls. Artificial skull deformation is a practice known to have been used by the Chinookan tribe of the Choctaw of the U.S. Southeast and the U.S. Northwest. The site was found to contain the bodies of healthy children who showed evidence of cranial deformation, and throughout the years, researchers have been able to figure out that deforming human skulls, or more specifically, infant skulls, was highly dangerous and often resulted in the death of the individual. But what else is really strange is that the people buried with alien-like skulls often had valuable artifacts buried with them, such as turtle shells and jewelry. This obviously means that those with cranial deformations were revered members of society. But could it also mean that some of the people buried with elongated skulls were in fact alien and human hybrids? And could it mean that the dead children who showed evidence of skull elongation were failed attempts to mimic the alien and human hybrids? Imagine living on top of a literal ancient town preserved under your feet. Would you feel weird about that? Knowing people lived and died thousands of years right where you live? I would, but these people only found out about this recently. Traces of homes were found while workers were laying a pipeline in the natural harbor. The homes would have been on stilts built on the actual lake bed at least 3,000 years ago when the lake was just a shallow crater without water. What's interesting is that archaeologists have had a hunch that there could be a village under the lake for some time, and this was the proof they finally needed. 30 wooden piles and 5 chunks of pottery have been now dated back to the Bronze Age, around 1000 BCE to be exact. Of course, it's hard to determine exactly what this ancient civilization looked like. They were likely some of the first farmers in the region of Central Europe, and maybe even the ancestors of those living in the nearby town of Lucerne today. The water levels would have risen slowly starting in the 15th century, giving the people ample time to escape and reestablish before flooding. Number 9. Swampy Discoveries the Great Dismal Swamp is just as miserable of a place as it sounds. It's a swamp, it's dismal, and it's great, at least in terms of size. It doesn't sound like a great place to live, though, but it is home to some pretty incredible archaeological secrets. Most of these secrets are stuck under the swamp water and buried under heaps of muck but they're still there. You see, the Great Dismal Swamp once covered a huge portion of Virginia and North Carolina, with vegetation so thick and treacherous that no horse or canoe could penetrate it. So the swamp made a perfect place for fugitive slaves to hide, as well as Native Americans fleeing colonial invaders. This was back in the 1600s, when a community of Native Americans and African Americans had established itself in the swamps. Throughout a decade of excavations in the Great Dismal Swamp, archaeologist Dan Sayers has uncovered about 3,600 artifacts from the area's history. These artifacts include clay tobacco pipes, the nails used in the construction of cabins, gunflint, and lead shot. But of course, finding tangible evidence of the people who lived here is very difficult because it's all under the swamp water. We know they lived in a communal setting on the fringe of civilization, and we know that almost all traces of the settlements they built have already been reclaimed by the swamp. But without written records and with only a handful of recovered artifacts, it's hard to say what exactly daily life was like for the hundreds of years the swamp was occupied. Number 8. 
18th century shipwreck. Shipwrecks happen all the time, but nowadays we generally know about them when they happen. That wasn't the case hundreds of years ago. So sometimes archaeologists today find surprising discoveries from ships that went down in the distant past. In Egypt, that means a shipwreck from the 18th century that was recently discovered in the Red Sea. An archaeological mission working with Alexandria University Facility of Arts found the front part of the merchant ship sunk near Sadana Island. They also discovered artifacts that were part of the ship when it sank. These artifacts included pottery vessels that once held grain, as well as pieces of the broken off ship. However, it's difficult to tell just what exactly the merchant ship was selling because it has already been so terribly destroyed by sitting in the bottom of the Red Sea. It's hardly even a ship anymore, with only fragments of its hull being visible through the sand. The ship originally sank when it crashed into the steep coral reefs of the Red Sea while on its way back to Egypt. This was a pretty common problem back in those days. Nobody has any idea who the ship belonged to or even what its name was. The crew probably died without a trace. Imagine waiting on family members to return from a long voyage, but every day that passes makes you think that they were lost at sea. It's a terrifying thought, right? It happened countless times in this part of the world because we know that right now, this is just one of hundreds of anonymous shipwrecks that litter the area. Number seven, ancient turtle. In Courtenay, British Columbia, a fossil hunter came upon something amazing in a local river just last month. About 80 million years ago, a sea turtle passed away on the banks of what is now a lonely river in the Comox Valley. The fossil of this ancient animal was just found by a man named Russ Ball, someone with years of experience in fossil hunting. He began his hobby for collecting fossils when living in Alberta, one of the richest locations for fossils anywhere in North America. But when Russ moved to Vancouver Island, the climate was different and so were the fossils. The turtle fossil was only exposed for a brief time when water levels dropped. Ross had to act quickly to properly preserve the fossil of the ancient turtle and get it out of the river, which he did with some help from the local hydroelectric power company. Next, Russ gave the fascinating fossil to the Royal BC Museum for further analysis. Nobody is really sure what kind of turtle this is because they are very rare to find in British Columbia. Turtle fossils just aren't that common, leading to some speculation that this could be a brand new species of turtle never before seen. But we won't know for sure until more investigation is completed by the museum. Number six, World War One machine gun. A man in England was dangling a magnet into a river near his home in Yorkshire when he found something he had never expected. He pulled an ancient Vickers machine gun out of the river, still in relatively good condition, considering it was probably down there since World War I. The magnet fisherman described it as a once in a lifetime find, and is now hoping to locate a museum where he can put the brutal weapon of war on display. The gun dates back from 1915, and had probably been used by British soldiers during the battle on the Western Front. The Vickers machine gun was known for its reliability and deadliness, used by the Brits for over 50 years. If you're wondering what a machine gun from the war was doing in a river, it's actually not the only one. Many deactivated weapons were dumped into rivers throughout England after World War I, with many of them still being slowly eroded today. Number five, lemur graveyard. Researchers have discovered one of the strangest graveyards ever in an underwater cave located on the island of Madagascar. Inside this cave, researchers discovered hundreds of creepy skulls and skeletons, many of which belong to a group of extinct lemurs. As weird as this sounds, it's 100% true. The extinct lemurs had probably been washed into the underground cave by a storm that happened thousands of years ago. But wait. The graveyard contains even more creepy fossils than just those extinct lemurs. Researchers also found the skeletons of primates, hippos, crocodiles, and a huge predatory cat native to Madagascar, an extinct type of giant fossa. The oldest animal found in the cave went extinct a couple thousand years ago, whereas the most recent skeletons belong to animals still living on the island, such as rodents introduced by humans. Perhaps the most bizarre part of the discovery is the rate at which these animals went extinct on the island. Humans only colonized Madagascar 3,000 years ago, and that timeline overlaps with some of the fossils, suggesting humans lived alongside giant lemurs and ferocious cats until they hunted them all to death. Have you ever found an animal skeleton you didn't recognize? What did you do with it? Did you eventually figure out what it was 
Tell me your story in the comments section below. Then remember to subscribe to Taltanic if you haven't already. More exciting videos are coming out very, very soon. Number four, underwater alien base. Stranger than anything else any archeologist has recently uncovered is the underwater alien base allegedly discovered six miles or 10 kilometers off the coast of California. It looks awfully suspicious. But what's the truth behind it? The strange structure was found resting on the floor of the ocean like some kind of spaceship covered over with dirt. It looks like what you might imagine a water city to look like if it had been abandoned and covered in shifting ocean sediments. There are even columns that appear to lead into the structure. However, scientists have been skeptical about whether this is truly an alien base. After all, the images were obtained via Google Earth making many question their validity. The anomaly is 2,000 feet below the surface, it measures at least three miles wide, and it's shaped like a perfect oval. David Schwartz from the US Geological Survey says that it's simply a geological formation that has nothing to do with aliens. But he hasn't been down there to look. How could he know for sure? I think it merits more investigation, don't you? Unfortunately, nobody actually knows what the anomaly is. It looks like an artificial structure built on the floor of the ocean, but according to experts, it's nothing to be worried about. We'd probably all like to get some better imaging done before deciding one way or the other. Number three, top predator. As if the ocean weren't scary enough, scientists have discovered a new top predator of the ocean, and it's nothing short of terrifying. Marine biologist Yoshihiro Fujiwara caught the fish while doing research off the coast of central Japan, in Soruga Bay. At first, he and his crew thought they had reeled in a coelacanth, one of the most legendary fish of all time. But the fish they caught was a bit different. In fact, something about it didn't seem right. There was no way they could have found a new species. Suruga Bay is the deepest bay in all of Japan and has been studied extensively since the 19th century. There is no way anyone missed a fish as shocking as this one. Or did they? As it turned out, everyone had missed this fish. It was brand new. Never assume you know what's going on under the sea. Fujiwara checked all the books he could, he consulted with his colleagues, and in the end, he concluded that he had a new fish on his hands. It was a monster creature over 55 pounds or 25 kilograms in weight. Fujiwara named it Yokozuna Slickhead, which is an homage to the top rank in sumo wrestling in Japan. I wouldn't want to wrestle with this evil looking fish, would you? Number two, World War II bombers. Three aircrafts from World War II have been discovered in a lagoon in Micronesia 76 years after vanishing off the face of the Earth. The airplanes had been part of Operation Hailstone back in 1944. The three aircrafts had been manned by seven servicemen from the United States, all of whom were listed as Missing in Action or MIA. The discovery was made by Project Recover, which specializes in finding out what happened to American soldiers declared missing in action during the Second World War. They found the aircrafts in Chuck Lagoon. There were two SBD-5 Dauntless dive bombers and a single TBM-F1 Avenger torpedo bomber that had been fighting Japanese forces when they probably took damage and fell into the water. The remains of the soldiers might still be down there and the planes are of incredible historical importance. Perhaps someday, they'll end up in a museum. Number one, Sunken Moai. If you thought that the giant heads of Easter Island, known as Moai, were just heads, think again. Scientists have uncovered something incredible recently that shocked the world. In fact, it turned out that the Moai were full statues with most of their bulk hidden underground, like icebergs. But how did the rest of them get underground? It's totally bizarre. After digging some of these statues up, scientists saw that they had bodies that had been sitting in the dirt for centuries. They were enormous and far from just being heads. That's what makes the picture that's been going around the internet lately of a submerged moai so interesting. The photograph shows three divers swimming around a huge moai statue nestled against some coral. It makes you wonder just how exactly that statue got underwater and what else we might not know about Easter Island. Unfortunately, the image is not historically accurate. It's actually not a genuine Easter Island head. According to National Geographic, the Moai is fake. It was a prop for a movie done in 1994. Now it's part of a reef and more of a tourist attraction than a history lesson. But the real Moai are still embedded in the ground, 
and their mysteries still lie beyond our scientists' knowledge. What's the most mysterious thing you've ever found underwater? Let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos.